Hello there guys, how are you all doing? And welcome to the Hermit Skies map of Project Ozone Light with me, Paternox. How are you all doing today guys? I am extremely excited as we will be beginning a new modded adventure here on our channel. So yes, fantastic, woohoo! Unfortunately, as you may, regular viewers may know that we've had a bit of a stop-start thing with uh, modded in the past. First there was Season 1 of Fallcraft, which obviously the first Fallcraft iteration was riddled with problems. We had Sky Factory 3, where we had some uh, connection issues with my Playmate General Jeff. So yeah, that one's kind of gone down the swanee. And then of course Fallcraft Season 2, yeah, that one kind of fell by the wayside. But I am really excited, hopefully with this, one, this pack being a quest-based pack, we should be able to progress nicely through it and maybe even reach an end point at the end of the, end of the day. Uh, so yeah, we are here. This is the same map that the Hermits are playing in their Hermit Skies series. I have gone and downloaded it. And what I'm thinking is obviously we have quite a few different UFOs around here that all lead to a different area quite a way out. I'm thinking possibly we use each of these UFOs for a different sort of resource. So maybe one UFO leads to mystical agriculture, one leads to fluid cows and such like that. We'll have to see, but for now I'm thinking let's go ahead and choose one to get started. One that's going to be easily accessible and obviously the easiest one would be the grey UFO just here I think. So let's... Uh, and what would, what do we have here? The betting questing mod. So first of all, let's open our inventory. There we go. Now let's have a look at the betting questing. Here we go. So this is a quest based mod pack. So as we can see here, welcome to light. This is our first one. And our first random acts of kindness. We just have to check the box. Detect. Tick a loot box now. Eeny meeny mo da 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 top. And claim. There we go, that is our first quest done, and our first loot chest. What do we have? A ring of experience. Fair enough. Right, we also have a diamond, a torch, and a sapling. Fantastic. Now I believe this ring of experience can go in our baubles. I'm not entirely certain what it does. Internal experience, zero. Right, okay, well we'll have that leave that for now. So what else have we got in this quest pack if we click on nope not escape how do we get back done there we go so we've got the wood age and early cobble but to begin with this let's go through our portal there we go the vapor of liberty up we come and here we are welcome traveler to claim this ship shift right click the screen then click the text button rename however you'd like we'll do that later on for now here we are and we are in a desert biome with a grey tree. Right. So first things first, we need to start getting some cobble, I believe. I believe that was the first one. Yep, early cobble. 64 cobblestone. So as you can see, shift right click on the grass or dirt to gain pebbles. So guess what I'm going to be doing for a little bit, guys? Yep, that's right. I'm going to be collecting these pebbles. I'll bring you back once we've got a stack of cobblestone. Okay guys, so I went and got the cobblestone old maid. I also went and got a furnace maid. However, I'm sure, yeah, there's the furnace over there. However, what I need now is to get this uh, next uh, quest, which is, where are we? There we go, the wood age. Now, I've got the wood, I've got the saplings, but I can't get the apples. So, that is what I'm trying to get now, and I'm desperately trying to get it before it gets too dark. Because the last thing I want is mobs spawning around me. I mean, yeah, okay, they won't spawn around here as I'm stood. But I've watched other hermits. I know that they can spawn up there. And that is not something I'm wanting to happen to me. So I am being very cautious. But right now, we need to get these apples. And I'm not having much luck, to be honest. And I really need to get some going soon, rather than... Oh, nearly! <laughs> Oh boy, that would have been bad. Right, so let's just make some quick tools here, shall we? And maybe even a chest as well, just to dump some of this stuff off so I don't lose everything. 
So let's make a quick axe. And I'm going to crack on with trying to gather the resources for this next quest. And I shall bring you guys back once we're on our way. Uh, we don't need that. One apple and an axe. Oh, and it would help if I had some saplings. Right, I'll bring you guys back once I've made a bit more progress. Because I'm sure, pretty sure, you don't want to see me just constantly harvesting wood. So, yeah, back in a sec, guys. Okay, guys, so I've made a bit more progress. In fact, we've managed to get on with the sieving now. As I've been hammering down some cobblestone. And I managed to get some string from the trees once we've infected them with the silkworms. However, the problem I'm having now is it's the cobblestone gen. I am getting fed up of collecting these pebbles to make them into cobblestone. So what I'm thinking is about time we got on with a cobblestone generator. Now for that we need some cobblestone. We need some glass. And we need some iron for these buckets. Now the iron... I believe I have from where I've been sifting so yeah here we are so let's see that will make four I believe right so we still need a bit more iron but we can still get that going in fact I want to wait until I've maybe got a bit more before we put that in so what we have to get doing is I'm gonna have to make some more of these pebbles to get some more cobblestone because if we need six bits of iron because that will enable us to make the two buckets that we need. Then I'm also going to have to hammer some cobblestone down into sand and cook that sand up. I'm also going to have to cobble, uh, hammer some of that sand down into dust. Fill this barrel here with some water in order to make the clay. So I've still got a fair bit of work to do but a cobblestone generator is definitely going to be the first thing that we crack on with now. So, yeah, I'm going to carry on collecting all these pebbles for the time being. And hopefully we shall get through all this grind pretty soon. So that we can crack on with actually making some progress. And maybe even starting to uh, do a bit of expansion. Because to be honest, hammering the cobblestone on this platform, I don't feel very secure of it. I mean, what I've been doing at the moment, I'll just show you here, is... I've actually been putting the cobblestone up against the tree and doing it in midair. That's how I've been doing the hammering at the moment because uh, the last thing I want is to knock out any of this. Yeah, I don't want to knock this floor away. So this is how I've been getting the gravel. And then now that I've got this flint mesh, I've been running it through here and that's how we've been getting the ore pieces. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with this. And hopefully next time I see you guys, we will have the cobblestone generator. Right there guys, so a bit of progress has come on. I now have a crucible. I managed to make myself a lava bucket. And I have gone and made a cobblestone generator, which I managed to upgrade to tier 2. Fantastic. So we now have, as you can see, plenty of cobblestone. Fantastic. But now it's time to move on to the next phase. I mean, as you guys can see, I've got a some uh, iron meshes here in our sieve and set up but the next phase now is not that it is now we can either go down the tinkers route or we can get some obsidian or diamonds well if i want diamonds that means a whole lot of sieving of sieving gravel which is a whole lot of bashing cobblestone which doesn't sound fun um the obsidian i can do with some barrels if I can fill them full of lava, then have some water going over them. Which, got the cobblestone generator, get some more, uh, probably some more crucibles, which I can do. So I could do that. Or we can, why does it keep going to that one? Or we can, let's see, storage control, I can't do that just yet. So what about agriculture revolution? Um, I don't really want to be getting into this just yet, we're still starting anyway. So what's this? Endist revolution. Well for that we need copper, redstone and gold. Now, let's have a look. Do I even have copper? Well we have copper. Got a couple of redstone. But we need four. Let's see, what copper have we got? So I need more copper. There's another one, so that's two, so that's three. Two more chunks can make four, but I don't have the redstone. 
Yeah, it looks like we need to get sifting a bit more for that. So we'll leave that one for now. I've got a feeling the next bet is going to be plenty more sifting. But maybe making a platform somewhere. And putting in a mob farm. But I'm thinking a mob farm. We might just do that on another island. So let's just... Uh, how do we do this? There we go. Let's send us back. There we go. Right. No. Oh, do we have to fall out? Is that why there's slime down there? Ow. Maybe not. That's is that not that's slime blocks? Ah, it's because we fell on the edge. Right. Okay. So maybe we'll do a mob farm on another island. So really, I should have bought some resources. Um. So we need to mark this as our main base, and then we shall go on to another UFO to get a mob farm set up. Um, so yeah, I shall bring you back once I've got the resources and we are ready to get going. So let's just come on up. No, what is going on here? Why are we? What's happening? There we are. Right. Okay. Let's just sort the floor of this out because yeah, that's not really working that well. Right. Let's go back, get some resources, and we shall get started on a mob farm. Right, so we're over here, uh, went through a different UFO, went through the red one this time, and this is where we're going to do a mob farm. But of course, as anybody would tell you, the best mob farms are the ones that you put right down there. So, without further ado, the best way to do that, yeah, we're going to die. Now, I wonder actually, um, blah, 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 blah. if we can get some of this, get some of this wood. I place it underneath then I might be able to get a ladder to go down so let's see what we can do uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh mistakes were made no no ah oh, dang it okay well that didn't quite work did it <laughs> didn't mean to do that and yeah oh well hang on we've done it We've done it. Woohoo. Thank goodness for that. Right. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try and get this pillar all the way down so that I can put some ladders down there as well. Um, yeah, maybe I should have made some ladders as well so I can ladder back up. That might be an idea. Right. I'll tell you what, guys. I'll get this done and I shall bring you guys back once I finish derping about. And I've managed to get this successfully in place. Because, yeah, this has gone a bit awry. And there we are, folks. We have a ladder all the way down to the bottom here. As you can see by the levels, I didn't die, actually. I didn't fall, which was a rather nice surprise. Um, so, yeah, now what we're going to do is travel on down. Down, down, down into the darkness we go. All the way down to, I believe, it may be Y level 2. But what we're going to do is take the platform out some ways. Yes, yeah, so we're down here on 2, but I want it to be a half slab. There we go. Now, this is where I may die. Because we're going to go out. So, hold that pinky. And out we go. So yeah, all we're going to be doing is your basic dark room mob farm. Just something cheap and nasty for now. Because what I really need to get is some ender pearls. That's what I'm wanting to get first. Because I can use them, smelt them with some iron to make some... A... Now which one is it? I can never remember the name of it. It's not conductive. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hang on, because it's to make a conduit. To make the item conduits, you need, that's it, pulsating iron. And so, of course, to make that, you need ender pearls. So, it's the enderman that I need right now from this farm. So, we're going to come out a little bit further. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to extend this platform out. So, three, two, one. Yep, there we go. So, make this pathway a little bit wider. Alright then guys, so I have gone and got the mob farm made. It is a very basic one, but it is also highly efficient. 
Uh, I've already gone and given it a quick go now. Managed to get myself a few pieces of armor. Fantastic. But as you can see, I have nearly completely knackered the iron sword that I made. Uh, this pickaxe I managed to get from a loot bag. So if we just come on down here, we should have some mobs down here now. Uh, this is all half slabbed, the main pathways, so we shouldn't have to worry about mobs down here. But as you can see, oops, wrong button. As you can see, look at all those legs. There's plenty of guys there. Now let's go get see if we can find, is there any endermen? Because this is three high, but it doesn't look like there is. Looks like some witches. I do need to make a better sword at some point though. So let's go and see how long this sword lasts. See what I can get. Um, up in the chest, up on the platform up above, I do happen to have a enderman in a jailer's safari net. So we've got one enderman at least. But let's see if we can't get a bit, few more loot bags. You never know, maybe we'll get an ender, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get a loot bag that's got an ender pearl in it. Doubt it, but you never know. We might get lucky. What I really need to get for this is once we uh, upgrade this farm, is some um, mob mashes, some fans, and a couple of absorption hoppers. Just to automate the killing of all these mobs. There we go, that is our sword run out, so let's use our axe. Just kill these last few guys. There we go. And yeah, so hopefully we will be able to crack on with our next quest. just as our axe breaks as well so let's have a quick look and see what we've got in these loot bags so that one that one, that, that one see if we've got anything good not really another pickaxe fantastic got a couple of these uh, angel heart vials so that's quite handy yep another jailer safari net okie dokie oh glowing water harms undead enemies lovely man of steel some boots, there we go, we have a full iron set, fantastic. And last one, some powered rail, wow. Right. Okay guys, so it's time to get this uh, obsidian generated. Now as you can see here, I've gone and got a lava production area set up. We have these crucibles here with a tier two cobblestone generator. Now I used that one ender pearl that I managed to get from the enderman, made some uh, item conduits. So the cobblestone comes into these crucibles. Then I went and made some fluid conduits which suck the lava up into this fluid tank. So what we're going to do next is use the same fluid conduits. We'll pipe the lava out from the tank into these stone barrels here. Now I'm going to be putting this ring around because on top of these stone barrels we are going to go ahead and put some water in. So let me just find a bucket. Uh, there we go. Now, we're not putting the water inside the barrels. We're going to be putting it on top, just like that. So what will happen is when the lava gets piped in, it will turn into obsidian. And then we're going to have some item conduits piping it out into a chest. So let's just see, do we have a chest available? All right, there's the item conduits. We're going to need some more fluid conduits, so we'll get those as well. There we go, uh, chest, do we have a chest anywhere? Nope, okay, so let's just grab some wood. Right then, so make a chest to pipe the obsidian into and a few more fluid conduits. That should be enough. Right, so da -da -da -da. pop the chest just down here, which is, can we not? Ah, oh, because that's the bot. Okay. Mistakes were made. <laughs> so we'll pop that. I just want it to be somewhere out of the way. Right, we'll stick it there in a moment. So what we need to do now is. That to there, to there. Then connect this to. Come on. There we go. To here. Now that we don't want. 
So disable that. There we go. Then there. Oh, this is going to be tricky. There we go. And then one last one. Come on. There we go. Fantastic. Right. So we need to set that to extract. And there we are. And then these to insert. One and two. Now that should be making. Yep. There we go. There's obsidian in there. So put that to there. That to there. Hook these up to extract always. And if we just pop a chest down, let's bring these to here and we'll pop the chest just there. Then we'll make that to insert. There we go. Fantastic. And there is our obsidian generation. So as soon as we've got 10 in there, nearly. Fantastic. And there we go. There is another quest complete. Into the never. Right. Let's go for the bottom one this time. Right, so what we've got here, Underdark, Ardite and Cobalt, Wither Skeletons. Right, these we're going to take some time. So, right, bear with me for a moment. Let's see what we've got in this loot chest. Oh, that will come in quite handy later on in the day. So, we we'll, shall go and stick that in here. As you can see, we've got quite a few loot chests recently. We've got some of these charms. We've got Slime Charm, Magnum Cube, Witch Charm, and a Blaze Charm. So... The blaze and the magma will help us in the nether. And then the slime, if we find a slime chunk. Uh, right, so let's just put that in there. That in there. There we go. And bucket going there. There we go. Right. So we are progressing nicely, guys. Well, I think we have made some fantastic progress for the very first episode of this new series, guys. We've gone and got lava production set up. We have obsidian production going. We've done a bit of sieving. And we've already got a mob farm going. Which is fantastic. I tell you, Skyblock is so much easier when you have these platforms already set out for you. I remember on the Sky Factory series that me and Jeff attempted. It took us a good long while before we got to this stage. So to be at this level already is absolutely fantastic. But like I said, I think that will do for this very first episode, guys. So thank you very much for joining me. Next episode, I think we're going to try and get this sieving automated. Yes. <laughs> so what I might do is maybe build an extension to this island and try and get our sieving set up all going automatically. And that will make things a whole lot easier. But until then, guys, thank you very much for joining me. If you have enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and smash that like button. Let me know that you're going to be enjoying this series if you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to ring that bell for notifications when all the new videos come out. But until next time, guys, all that's left for me to say is take it easy, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.